So Kai, you have a super interesting niche and you've already built a really successful school community. Tell us a little bit about that and your approach to doing it. I actually originally, I'll go back a little bit in time, maybe seven months ago, I launched a community on school called Infinity School. And that was basically, I was getting more into self-improvement than gaming. And so I was going to, I made a community for like self-improvement for gamers. So it was going to be like treating your life like a video game, basically. Um, and I made it like 99 bucks a month. And I, I did like a four video launch style, spent like thousands of bucks on the editing, all Iman Gaji type stuff. Um, and then nobody joined. <laughs> Absolutely no one. I was like, oh my God painful but um i all i had to do is just keep going figure out like what else would work why it was wrong and so i kind of flipped that idea on its side and said okay well what does my audience actually want so the thing that geometry dash players actually want a universal idea is to just get better at the game and so that's that's where geometry smash my community started um and I love the game. I've been playing it for like nine years, but I also have kind of a deep desire to help my younger self. And I know helping my younger self get better at video games isn't, isn't the best. It's, there's, there's some aspect of it that's cool, but I can... So I basically made a course to get better at the game and integrated self-improvement into it. Nice. And, it's the Trojan and, horse. It's like, yeah. hey, come on in here to get better at, at, at this game. But actually, like, you're going to leave here like an absolute weapon. Yeah, sneak attack them with real life <laughs> lessons. And they're like, they didn't see it coming, but then they like it. They're like, oh, and they start, there's, there's a bunch of posts about it. Like, I can't believe Kai did like, somehow integrated self-improvement with gaming like just pure opposites <laughs> it's interesting though because any any course that you've ever been a part of you know the first kind of module is usually always the same it's like are you guys sleeping good are you eating good what's your mindset like what people have you surrounded yourself with are you exercising like taking care of you as the person and so i've always believed that we are all in the business of transforming lives and our niche or like our thing is just it's the Trojan horse. It's the thing that gets people in through the door. So yeah, I mean, for your for your community, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, definitely. It, it makes me very happy to like be able to, I was thinking of just giving up the whole gaming thing. So I was like, I don't know if this is really like helping anyone. Like, what am I doing? I'm making money, but this is kind of stupid. I um, mean, to be able to like carry that momentum that I've spent so many years building up into kind of, this new self-improvement thing, this new interest that I have, it makes me super happy. And school has just kind of let me do that. I couldn't do that with, you know, Kajabi or just hosting a course somewhere. Like community course combination is fucking powerful. Yeah, dude. And so not only are you a content creator, not only are you a player of the game, but you also have big plans to collaborate with other people in your niche. And I like that a lot because... One of the big obstacles we see in the school community is like, I don't have an audience. I don't have a following. Like, how can I be useful? How can I like, you know, build a community? And so, I mean, I know, I know it's pretty kind of top secret, but as much as you can or, or you want to share with us, like we'd love to hear. Yeah. So basically I'm a controversial figure in my niche or niche, uh, geometry dash because not, not anything, um, that makes sense, but because all of the big YouTubers in that niche have been making content for years and years and years and growing slowly and slowly. And all of a sudden shorts came out and I'm the guy that took advantage of it. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, like within a year, I gained like a million subscribers and become the second biggest geometry dash YouTuber. And people are like, what is this guy? Like, what is he doing? This content's stupid. He's not putting hours into geometry dash history documentaries he's not speaking to me super intimately like hamza he's being goofy like this, <laughs> yeah, is, this is illegal on, like, <laughs> yeah and so people just kind of want to look at it like it's cheating or something um but anyway i don't have like the reputation that other um youtubers have in my niche so i have like the most subscribers of a english-speaking channel but i don't have like the trust and so it's kind of like if I was selling you something and I said the exact same words as if uh, Alex Hormozzi was also selling you something, you'd probably buy it from Alex Hormozzi just because of who he is. Right. And so I can't say his name, but I am working on a partnership with someone who's been making Geometry Dash content 
for like nine, 10 years. And he just has like the best um, reputation within the community. And it, it's pretty amazing. Um, and so I was thinking like, I could either make a bunch of content and try to like keep this, uh, this community going, but it would like, it would take me 10 years to get to the point where this dude's at. Why don't I just kind of leverage my status within the community to reach out to him and see if somehow a partnership could work. Um, and so we're working that out at the moment and yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Cool. And I, I know, you know, you're still in the negotiation stage and things are high stakes, but like, what advice yeah. would you give for people listening who would be interested in kind of like brokering a deal like that? You know, how do you go about it? Like, how do you approach it? Tell us your cheat codes. So, I mean, I literally just, the instructions for the school games, Alex Ramosi talks about why he's partnering with school and Sam Ovens. Sam Ovens wants to do product. Alex Ramosi is the king of promo. And so it goes together perfectly. And I was like, why haven't I thought of that? Like, yeah, it would be great if I could keep 100% of the revenue, but if I could share it and then we'd also both make more, that'd be amazing. Um, so really, it, it was kind of super spontaneous. I just found his email and wrote like 11 pages of like an <laughs> offer. I just, it was basically like, it wasn't the best offer I could give this dude. And I wrote all of it and I was like, fuck, I don't know. It's, I spent like three days writing it. Um, it was just, just basically like. I build, you promote, your work rate doesn't increase, but your income skyrockets. That Ooh, was basically how they That's like that $100 million offer move right there. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm, I'm selling him this thing that's going to make him money for free. It, it seems like a no brainer, but I, I seriously doubted that he was going to say yes. I was sure. like, there's no way. Um, and it had been like a few days and then I checked my phone and he was like, basically like down to talk about it more Super which means cool. he's highly interested on um, so that was just crazy to me but advice i would give to other people i guess yeah it's just think of it as a product um which is actually something andrew kirby told me or not me directly in one of his communities um like if you're hiring someone or partnering with someone if you're like calling them it's not like a it's not an interview it's like a sales call the job is the product I'm like imagining in my head that email and it's like, you've like value stacked. So like towards the end, it's like, but wait, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> exactly. And if, if you don't like it, I'll wire you $5,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a ridiculous <laughs> guarantee. <laughs> so uh, you've been playing the game for a while. We all play video games for lots of different reasons. And then we all play specific video games for different reasons. Why do people play mm -hmm. Geometry Smash? And like, what is their compelling psychological reason for like wanting to be better at it or being the best? Like what drives your community, I guess is what I'm asking. The geometry dash community I find is different than any other gaming community because of the passion within the game. Other games is like such high production and there's always new stuff coming out. The last geometry dash update took seven years. Like it's a, <laughs> It's a one, it's a one dude business. He's just like coding everything himself. Um, and so the community is really what creates the game. Rob top, the guy who created the game basically created a, a place where there can be infinite creativity. And so there's levels in the game that players can create themselves, just make some beautiful masterpiece. And then players also are pushing the, the limits of what's possible to beat. And then YouTubers are making the best content as possible. So the three things really holding the Geometry Dash community together and helping it thrive is playing, creating, and entertaining. And so the thing about being a general Geometry Dash player is you see all of it happen. You see new amazing levels come out. You see new hardest levels completed. And you see new amazing content come out, people getting popular. And I always felt, like, man, like I really, w I want to be like one of those guys, like one of those, like everyone's commenting, like you absolute legend when they verify a new, like hardest level or make a new beautiful masterpiece. And I'm just like, I feel like all geometry dash players feel that passion and like want 
they just want some of that. And that's not a bad thing. It's just like, you want to feel like you're an important person. You want to do something. You want to make an impact. And so in Geometry Smash, we teach you how to make amazing levels, how to get better at the game, and how to become a Geometry Dash YouTuber. And so I'm really, my goal is just to make it easy to achieve one of the three dreams of a Geometry Dash player. And so that's like, I think where the passion is. Dude, one of the three dreams. That is like one of the nicest things I've heard someone say. I appreciate it. And I mean, like so many of us in every niche, in every industry, it's like we want to get off the sidelines. And I guess what wow. your community and what so many people in school are doing is they're giving people a chance to get in the arena and get in the game, whether that's learn how to start your own podcast, learn how to get better at Geometry Dash, learn how to you know make money online or get better at cooking or you know whatever yeah. it is. And I think that there is like a big widespread, I'm not, I don't know if it's necessarily an issue, but there is like an epidemic where like most people are consumers rather than creators and like mm -hmm. they're, they're like viewers rather than participants. And I like that promise and I like the three dreams. It's cool. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's kind of weird. A lot of the consumers think it's scammy or stupid or, or yet like scummy to sell something. Because a lot of people don't believe in mutual benefit or value exchange. And I think that's like one of the most beautiful things about the universe in general is just mutual benefit actually exists. It's crazy because most things kind of like, there's like equal and opposite forces. But the thing is, when you help someone, you both benefit. And that, that just goes against like everything. And I think it's incredible. And I think Sam has created school which is like the perfect business for mutual benefit like people pay you to benefit it's that simple and i think it's amazing yeah dude so walk us through your your kind of funnel walk us through your monetization strategy you know are you doing free group paid group or like what's what's your current approach so i'm launching a free group in four days called um dash academy and then the paid one is Geometry Smash. Um, we already have like 2,500 people waiting to join Dash Academy. And I haven't promoted it that much. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm, I'm copying Hamza, basically, is what I'm saying. So Geometry Smash, the paid one. I'm, I'm, I'm modeling a lot of things that he does from Adonis Gang to Adonis School just because it works and why not? I'm not going to come up with my own thing and see if it works. Um, <laughs> and so... Another thing is that I have a skill of knowing how to make viral shorts better than anyone else that I know or in the community. And so I don't get that many views. Well, like 500,000 a day right now on YouTube. Yeah. That, that many views compared to where Not I was used many. to. It. <laughs> and so like, yeah, my best is like 10, 13, 15 million a day. Um, so I'm trying to get back to that point and funnel, just basically get hundreds of millions of eyes onto Dash Academy and just get as many Geometry Dash players into Dash Academy as possible. I'm trying to get uh, 200,000 members in there this year. Um, and then we'll do our best to convert that into Geometry Smash members. So the vision for Dash Academy is just to make the best free community possible. And then the vision for Geometry Smash is to make the best community possible. Um, so yeah, just funneling traffic from YouTube into Dash Academy into Geometry Smash. And once in a while, I'll mention the paid community on YouTube, but I really just like, I want to make the free thing as good as possible. And so make like an offer so good that it seems like it should be paid and then be like, also, it's free. Just join right now. There's <laughs> really no reason not to. And yeah. I think the only problem is that there's going to be too many members joining pretty soon. And um, why have you stacked them all like that? It's like the launch of like, I don't know, Yeezys or something. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> we well, said there's like 2,500 people waiting in the community to join. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, because I basically, so I created the Pro Code 1.0, which is a course on how to get better at the game a few months ago. And that was basically just uncut Loom videos. It was like the default first um, minimum viable course. And that was in my paid community for a while. But recently I've created the pro code 2.0, which is like a thousand times better edited, way more in depth, real action steps. 
Um, and so I'm putting the pro code 1.0 into Dash Academy, the free version. And the, the new course is, has four more days to finish editing. The editor has not finished it yet. But so basically once the new course is in the paid one, I can open the free one or else the free and paid just has the same course. <laughs> Makes sense. And so, but, yeah. you know, this is you, this is kind of like 2.0, like, I, like you said at the top of the show. You've had a community before, you've paid the editor to make the videos and you've released it and nothing happened. Whereas now it's the script's completely flipped. It's like you have like thousands of people hungry to get access to this stuff and then you're releasing mm -hmm. it. That's really cool. I don't regret the other thing, failing at all. I think like a lot of people, everyone says like failing is okay, it's growth, it's part of the thing. But I don't think it's just like, like you're going on a road and then you fail and take a step back. Like, no, I think failing moves you like two spots ahead. Like, I don't, I don't get disappointed when I fail anymore. And I think a lot of people need to learn that lesson. Like, mm. is it really takes you further ahead than even not failing. Especially when it like really sucks. Like when something's like, what? Like say you record a video all day and the audio's off, you're like, ah. <laughs> just like get excited. That's amazing. That's amazing. The universe will balance out. It's about to bless you. That's what I think. So good, dude. I really resonate with what you said at the at the start of the show as well. That desire to kind of be who you needed, like be there for a younger version of yourself. Like unpack yeah. that a wee bit more for me because I think that's like a very powerful motivator. Hmm. Well, I I think everyone has a innate desire to help people and the best way that you can help people is by teaching what you know and you know yourself more than anyone else and so if you attract people that are like you you can help them the best and so i could have started a self-improvement channel from zero and then did infinity school with nothing to do with gaming but i think the way that i can help the most people right now is by actually helping gamers without even knowing, without them even knowing they're going to be helped. Sneak attack them with help. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think an another aspect of that is just money is a great motivator, but if you, you'll hear from a lot of entrepreneurs, money was their first motivator. And then once they made it, they're like, well, now what? So they just obsess over the business, making it better, fulfilling the mission statement. And so I feel like, why not just do that now? before I like make a million dollars, um, like find other motivators. So my goal isn't profit. My goal is to make the best community possible and help the most people as possible. And I, I think like tapping into those desires of just helping people and making the best thing possible is going to make you a lot more money than trying to make a lot more money. Dude, I couldn't agree with you more. What's your strategy for the school games? Are you going to hang back until another month? Because we're halfway through February. Yeah. Are you, are you going to try to go for it? Like, what's your your thoughts on that? It depends once I um, lock in my partnership, because I think that would be the key to really winning the school games. It, it depends. I'm, I'm starting. I, I didn't post much content for the past six months, and I'm starting to do shorts again, figuring out the new meta. And so if it all goes to plan, I'll be getting hundreds of millions of views per month again, and I can funnel a lot of traffic into Dash Academy. And then maybe one month I'll, I'll, I'll go for, um, the school games. I was hoping it would be even this, this first school games or the second one, but it really just depends on, um, how well my content performs and my potential partner's content performs and how hard he promotes and stuff. He's got a degree in marketing, which is cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, but, I would say if you yeah. were averaging hundreds of millions of views, I would say you have an unofficial PhD in marketing, so I'd say you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, yeah. Final question, Kai. This is a question that uh, comes up all the time, and Anne from the school community uh, even suggested that we ask you uh, to close, and it's very simply, what advice would you give to a school newbie or someone who hasn't uh, jumped in yet? I would say at least just click, click the link below in the description and check out the landing page for the school games. It's 
is pretty convincing. And if not, just join a community. Um, school, I think, is the most valuable place to be right now. Um, the, you, can, you can learn about whatever you're interested in. There's so many high-value people, even free communities. You can join paid communities, but there's tons of free communities because it's so valuable to have a free community for leads. They'll put so much value into that. And you can, if you have the dedication to learn from something without paying for it, it's super valuable. And then pretty quickly, you can make your own community. And all you need to do is sell $100 of members, which could be one person for $100 a month or 10 people for $10 a month. And then school pays for itself. And then you can just build from there. It's kind of an amazing place. Yeah, dude. And for those of us who already have communities, like what are some best practices that you have picked up along the way? Hmm. We're getting in early here. Like I, think, I believe, Jenny, I believe you're going to be a school millionaire. And so, yeah, I feel like this is like the world exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Um, I think just, just obsess over like membership satisfaction, make that the goal. Cause a thing you interviewed Sam a few days ago, uh, I watched the podcast twice already once with my girl. Um, and he said he wanted it to be a place where the best thing wins, not the best marketing, right? And so just focus on making the best thing. I think, I think, that, I think that's the best thing you could do, you know? Awesome, dude. Well, really, really appreciate your time, dude. And thanks for everything you shared. It's great. Of course. I've had a great talk with you, man.